What's up, y'all? Power Washing Pro GA here. Check this out. Um, I've done some digging and I found out that you can reinstate your Google My Business listing if it mysteriously vanished, um, as we talked about yesterday. Uh, you're going to need two pieces of documentation. One is going to be um, a utility bill with your uh, business address, and phone number and everything on it. And it has to match all of this documentation that I'm talking to you about has to match one and the other. The other thing is you're going to go to the secretary of state and get um, um, print out your business information, which will have your uh, business address on it as well as your phone number. Again, the first the first piece of information has to match the second piece of information. From there, you're going to go here. I found this video. I'm going to show share it with you so that you guys can uh, get on this stuff, man. You got you to put some work in in order to get the outcomes that you want. Um, here we go. Check it out. You are ready to go. Now you're ready for the reinstatement. Now we're back at the reinstatement form. I'm going to take you step by step how to answer these questions so you can submit over to Google your case and so you can get your two documents that we just talked about uploaded and over to Google as well. First question, did you already submit a reinstatement request? No. Are you the official representative? Yes. Does your business comply? Yes. Is your business permanently located at the address? Yes. Have you entered an accurate street address? No PO boxes, no games with the address. Yes. Does your business operate in a service area? Most of the time, if you're watching this video, you will be a service business owner, but maybe not. In this case, I'm going to click yes. You can talk face-to-face -face business at your location. Okay. If you've hidden your address on Google, or if you want to hide your address on Google, then click no. Did you set your address settings correctly? Yes. You have multiple profiles for the same location. Hopefully the answer to this is no, because you're only supposed to have one per location. Now what's going to allow you to do is fill out this form. So you're going to put your name, you're going to put your email, you're going to put the name of your business, exactly how it appears on the two documents, and how you originally registered it with Google. All of that stuff must match. If it doesn't match, go and make those changes before you start filling out this form. Now, it's going to ask for your business profile ID. I'm going to show you exactly where to get this. Let's go back to the Google search screen, and what you're going to do is search for the name of your business. In my case, Big West Marketing. Now make sure you are logged into your account using the original Gmail or the email that you used to set up your Google My Business account. That way when you scroll down here, you have all these different options. These three little dots over here is what I want to click on first. Then I want to click on Business Profile Settings. Then I want to click on Advanced Settings. Now you're going to see right here is my, my business, business profile ID. ID. Very, very important. Very important, very important that you have this exact ID when you come back to the form and you pop it in right here. here. Make sure you put the phone number that's registered with Google as well. Now, right here, you want to honestly explain what you think happened and why your business was suspended and why you think it should be unsuspended. If you're trying to play games, if you're trying to scam Google, then this will not work. This is for honest, legit businesses that are trying to get their business reinstated after a suspension that shouldn't have happened. When you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to see upload documents. Right here, it's going to talk about your registration or your license. This is honest, legit businesses. Honest and legit businesses. Very important. Before we're going to upload the Secretary of State screenshot. So once again, let me show you. This is my screenshot for the Secretary of State. It shows my business name right here and my legit correct address down here. And then down here is where I'm going to upload my utility bill. This is going to be the cell phone bill that I showed you earlier with my legit business name, my address down here. Like I said, I know I'm repeating this, but for some reason people don't understand they have to have the legit business name, they have to have the legit address. Even if it's hidden on Google, you still need to provide this stuff. Google knows it even if it is hidden. Even hiding it is only for the public, not to hide it from Google. So Google wants to verify your business name, your business address, even if the reason you got suspended had nothing to do with the address, you're still going to be using the legit address and these documents to prove to Google that you are the real deal. Now, you typically have to wait, wait several, several days, days possibly, possibly a couple weeks, weeks before you hear back, back from Google. Google. Do, Do not go, go back and submit more reinstatement forms until, until you hear back from Google. Okay, that's, that's one of the worst things you can do. do. That, that will slow the process, process down if you go in there and keep 
resubmitting that form over and over. You want to be patient. You want to be patient. You got that. Once you submit your information on your reinstatement form, do not go back and attempt to reapply for a reinstatement. It's going to delay your outcomes and it's going to be longer for you to get your listing posted back to the Google My Business page. Very important. And you want to wait for them to come back and tell you what happened. Now, if you've done exactly what I've said so far, nine out of ten times, you will be reinstated and be good to go. But there are a lot. All right. So that that pretty much um, is it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, from what I've read and from what I've researched, this is le legit. Um, this guy is pretty reputable. Um, I followed him um, a couple years ago. Um, pretty, pretty reputable. Get it done, man. Hopefully uh, y'all get that back on. Do me a favor. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. It helps us help you help somebody else. Y'all wash on. Peace.